Hello friends, in today's video we will discuss RTD and we will correlate what we have studied with instrumentation. So watch the video completely. Let's start. RTD is a temperature sensor. Now we will see why it is called temperature sensor. And the answer is we use RTD for temperature measurement. RTD senses the temperature and provide its reading. So it is a temperature sensor. For more instrumentation videos, subscribe to our channel. Now see the full form of RTD. Here R means resistance, T means temperature, D means detector. So it becomes resistance temperature detector. We can also say it as a temperature detector or sensor that provides its output in resistance is known as resistance temperature detector. So what have we studied is this RTD has a positive temperature coefficient. Now we will see what does it mean. Let's discuss. It means that RTD resistance increases with increasing temperature. If it has a negative temperature coefficient then RTD resistance will decrease with increasing temperature. For PT100, RTD resistance at 0 degree Celsius is 100 ohms and RTD resistance at 50 degree Celsius is approx 119 ohms. If we increase the temperature further, we will find that resistance at 100 degree Celsius is approx 138.5 ohms. So it is clear that the resistance increases as the temperature increases. Now, this is the important point. RTD resistance vary with temperature linearly. Now let's discuss what does it mean. Here RTD resistance and temperature curve is shown in this image. If two quantities have the linear relationship then there will be a straight line between them as shown by the hand arrow. Let's discuss more about it. Suppose if temperature increases from uh, from 100 degrees Celsius to 200 degrees and suppose resistance increases 40 ohms then from 200 degrees Celsius to 300 degrees Celsius the resistance will increase by the same amount that means 40 ohms now I think it is clear to you now the question arises what is the construction material of an RTD if we are talking about the construction material of an RTD, we are talking about the sensing element material. In this image, the sensing element is shown by the circle. Now we will see which material is used in the construction of RTD. The RTD is made of platinum, copper, nickel, but platinum RTD is mostly used. What is the reason behind this? So the reason is to in in platinum resistance and temperature characteristic is most linear. Here in this image resistance temperature characteristics of nickel, copper and platinum are shown. You can see that for platinum resistance and temperature characteristic is most linear. Now we will see RTD temperature calculation formula. So what we have studied RT is equal to R01 plus alpha T where RT is the resistance at T degree Celsius R0 is the resistance at 0 degree Celsius. What does it mean? It means RT is the resistance measured by multimeter. R0 is 100 ohms. Alpha is equal to 0.00385 here alpha is the temperature coefficient so temperature formula is T is equal to RT minus R0 upon R0 alpha now we will explain this formula in an easy way so the formula for temperature is resistance measured by multimeter minus 100 upon 0.385 we know that 1 upon 0.385 is equal to 2.60 approx so we can also multiply by 2.6 to calculate the temperature 
so the final procedure to checking the temperature is first we will subtract 100 from the resistance measured by multimeter and then we will multiply by 2.6 or we will divide by 0 0.385 then you will find the temperature but people have doubts regarding multiply and divide so remember you can do both either multiply by 2.6 or divide by 0 0.385 so that was our video. If you like the video, do like and share it with your friends.